Hey everybody, it's Bob Fibbs, The Retail Doc. Thanks for joining me on St. Patrick's Day. I thought today would be a great time to share with you a story about actually how I came to uh, America. My uh, ancestors, my great-great-grandfathers, uh, were from Ireland originally during the potato famine. Two brothers left Dublin. And uh, if you heard me do my keynote in Dublin a couple of years ago with Retail Excellence, you heard this story, but because it happened only a few um, miles away from where the conference was. But in any event, these two brothers leave and they decide to come to America and they land in New York and they go down and one goes to North Carolina and one ends up in South uh, southwestern Virginia, a very rural area, and uh, pretty much Appalachia. And my grandfather uh, was a... Uh, fire and brimstone kind of a preacher. And he would go out all around and kind of save the world. And my uh, grandfather, who would be at the farm, the farm is loosely uh, called a farm because it was on top of a mountain with a lot of clay and uh, rock, and they couldn't really grow much. And they tried to, to live out there. In fact, generations had lived there in the place that was called the hole in the wall. Yeah, that was the address, right? And um, my dad, um, well, actually, let me get back to my grandfather. My grandfather didn't like the fact that his dad was always out going around because it meant all the work had to be on him. He had to do it and figure it out. And he was a very learned man. He hadn't gone to school, but he's very smart. And so as a young man, he decided, I'm going to get out of here or I'm never going to be able to live more fully. And he decides that he's going to go and uh, go into the uh, coal mines and he is going to, because he was a carpenter, he's going to build all the uprights that held the dirt and everything. And that all sounded great until his best friend died in a cave-in. And so he said, well, I'm not going to do that. And he decides to be a carpenter. And he starts building homes during the Depression. In fact, I've got pictures of my uncles and my dad at like 12 and 11 building homes with him in uh, what we would call, I guess, the city then, but it was a small little hamlet in southwest Virginia. And he was able to, uh, during the Depression, to actually keep enough uh, business that all of his kids were able to uh, have clothes and live a good life, and he built a home for them. And uh, all of them got out of there and went on to college. And I am here today because those two brothers, however many hundreds of years ago had leverage. And they said, there's gotta be something better waiting for me. And I always think about it here on St. Patrick's Day, wearing of the green and everything, that it's easy to think about, oh, it was, uh, you know, Ireland and it's great and it's beautiful, it certainly is. But an awful lot of people came before us and a lot of our different generations and stories, it's just my story, everybody's got a story. But somewhere along the line, someone said, there's gotta be something better and they motivated themselves to go. And that's great. In my generation, boomers, that was certainly what we heard, you know, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. And now we're learning everybody starts a different place. And I understand it. But here's the thing and why I'm sharing this with you today as retailers across the world. Too many of us expect that that's easy, that that motivation, that inner uh, drive, that someone just has it. And what we've forgotten is that now in 2023, we need mentors to show people what to be. That's what being a manager is about. That's what being a district supervisor, that's what being a shift lead is about, is being able to show them how if I make your day, you're going to make somebody else's day. And we can't just assume that everybody's got it because it hasn't been modeled. They don't know what success looks like. They may not have had it. And yet we're expecting people, especially young people, to just learn it. And, you know, I guess when you have a famine and you've got to either eat or uh, die, that's got to be motivation. My grandfather, you know, your, your best buddy dies in a, a coal mining accident. You say, well, I don't want to do that again. But a lot of us are pretty comfortable. And especially when we look around at all we have in 2023, and we've got to remember that the key for all of us is how do we make those times, those moments when we can lead people to be exceptional, that they can see you're capable of doing so much more. You're capable of trying something out. And instead of coddling them or trying to be their best friend, being able to say that these are standards I want you to live up to, and then get them to rise up to it, because that's what makes us a civilized society. The reason we've got so much bickering right now is I think we've stopped looking at how we talk to people and then developing people and making them better individuals. We just say, figure it out. Well, 
that's great. But if they don't figure it out, what's happening in retail right now? Oh, quiet quitting. Yeah, they're just not doing their job. Oh, they're uh, silent leaving. or I don't know. They've got all these different things, which are all about they don't feel they matter and they're leaving. So today on St. Patrick's Day, I want you to think about what are you doing to actually make them a better person and help give them leverage on their lives to change? Because if you're really comfortable, there's no reason you're going to change. And and when someone doesn't show you a better way or a quicker way or somewhere, we're left with um, you know stories of Elon Musk or uh, or Zuckerberg or someone. Is that is that really the story? No, the story is small moments, but small times when we're being intimate with somebody and hearing what's important to them, and then helping them to get the tools to be mentored that they can be mentors to somebody else. So as you're thinking about this on St. Patrick's Day with Green River in Chicago or Green Beer in New York or wherever it's going to be for you, I just want you to be thinking about that idea of mentorship and leverage and how if you've got enough of that, it may have made you who you are, but how are you going to share that with your crew today. That's my message for you today. Hey, if you like what I have to say, give me some thumbs up, give me some love. Let me know you're out there. This is across all of my platforms today. And I know you're uh, you're busy, but I want to make sure that we always are thinking about how do we make somebody else's day? Because that is what's going to pull you into the future and keep you away from going to all the nasty chat and everything else. So if you like what I have to say, give me some love, give me some a thumbs up or applause or whatever it's going to be on yours and share the message because we are able to change the world by the people working and shopping and retail if we bring our full selves into it and then help other people assume that as well. Thanks so much. Have a great weekend.